Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video guys. So this is week 6 assignment of the course, the joy of computing using Python. So friends, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share that with your students, fellow students and classmates guys. And please uh, share that within your WhatsApp student groups so that it will uh, spread as much as possible. So many students will get benefited through that guys. So definitely like the video if you got benefited through our channel. So through number of likes, our channel will come, uh, appear in suggestions for many other students also similar to you. So please help other students also find our videos. So first question guys. So I think almost all solutions are correct. And if, if you differ with any of our solutions, please give your opinion in the comment section. And if I get any, uh, if it comes to my notice regarding any other solution, I will also update in the comment section. So definitely watch the video once again before the final submission moment guys. So first question, what will be the output of the following code? So if you do that in your compiler, so then I think probably you will get the answer as <coughs> first option guys, shift every letter in a given word by value. So what is the, uh, here the value represents the value how much you give to that right if it is 3 then the value every uh, it will shift every letter in a given word by num uh, 3 right so like that guys next second question so guys please watch full video if you miss uh, if you skip the video you may miss some content so don't do that guys please watch the full video so second question in the list l so they have given a list right which contains uh, uh, different numbers so they are asking what is the index of element 7 so where is the 7 guys 7 is the third element right but index will be count from 0 onwards so this one is 0 this is 1 and 7 is 2 so answer is third option 2 moving on to the third question guys So third question, which of the following is true about recursion? So for third question, there are three probable solutions guys. The first one is second option, recursive code is easier to debug. Next, the base case is necessary for recursion. And the other one is third, uh, fourth option, recursive code can be shorter than non-recursive code. So these three are the probable solutions for third question guys. Now, let's move on to the fourth question now. So fourth one, what will be the output of the following program? So they have given a program. So if you do this, it is just, uh, if you see that it is a recursive program, right? So number into number minus one. Suppose it, if it is five, it will multiply five into five minus one, that is four. And if you, if you take four, that will, it will multiply four into 4 minus 1 that is 3 like that 2 and finally 1 so it is product of first 5 first n numbers right if n is equal to 5 so here if you see calculating product of first n terms so this is the correct answer guys it's nothing but a recursion program so mark second option guys <coughs> moving on to the fifth question now so fifth one, in Caesar cipher, the mediator needs to take maximum of how many trials to break the code? So for fifth question, the probable answer is option two guys, 26. <coughs> Next, moving on to the sixth question now. So what is the output of the following program? They have given a program and they are asking the output. So before getting into the solution, I want to make a small announcement guys. So this is regarding NPTEL exam preparation MCQs guys. We have collected three huge number of 300 previous year MCQs for the course Joy of Computing using Python. So with nearly five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected this guys. So there are two packs available, savings pack and super savings pack. Here the name itself tell you. So like the similarly, like the name, we have, pro uh, we have collected huge number of 300 MCQs guys for just 500 rupees only. And up to five members of your uh, friends can access this. So five members can combinedly pay 500 rupees, guys. No extra price. So five members can combinedly buy this 500 rupees.
pack and each one will give uh, get 300 mcqs guys very beneficial pack and very super savings pack guys so till the exam day the access will be given even if the exam date is postponed we will like increase that guys we will extend that date no problem and topic coverage is also very high and search option is also available it is also easy to revise because it is a pdf right and there is another pack which is 150 mcqs pack and the price is doubled guys 300 152 is 300 right but here the price is not doubled in super savings pack that's why we have given the name super savings pack the name here and up to three members can get access for this savings pack and topic coverage is also medium only and search option available and also easy to revise so in my uh, view it is better to take 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more mcqs right more mcqs means better practice better practice means it may lead to better uh, grade also good grade also right so this is the email id you have to mail me for guys so please mail me only if you want to buy guys for other doubts do, uh, you can message me in the comment section of the youtube itself so only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys this is the email id i will provide that in the description box as well as in the comment section so think once guys already many students have taken our pdfs and got benefited also so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions <coughs> so for sixth question the answer is second option guys runs into an infinite loop so the probable answer is second option now moving on to the seventh question so what's the correct code for binary search so for seventh question the probable answer is this is the one guys so mark the third option so next eighth question guys which of the following is true about min max strategy so for eighth question the correct answer is the probable solution is first option guys maximize the ch chances of your winning and minimize the chances or uh, changes of the actually it is chances right so minimize the chances of the opponent winning so mark first option next move on moving on to the let's move on to the ninth question guys ninth ninth question ninth one a program that is written recursively cannot be written in a non-recursive manner so for ninth question the probable answer is false now let's move on to the final question of the assignment of this assignment 6 that is 10th question guys so 10th question what will be the output of the following program so for 10th and final question the correct answer is the probable solution is this one guys fourth option so mark fourth option so friends these are the probable solutions for week 6 assignment of joy of computing using python course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel definitely like the video and share this within your whatsapp student groups so that's it guys so keep supporting us forever so that's it for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you and uh, for pdfs message to me this email guys so that's it so let's meet in the next video guys bye